When it comes to hunting, it's all about detachment. Whatever's at the other end of the barrel, you have to detach yourself. Can't put any emotions or feelings to it. After all, they're only animals. Well, if it isn't Mr. Alistair Higgs. Hello, Mr. Henry. How's the business treating you? Oh, lonely as usual. All I have are these dead animals to talk to. But now that you're here, I assume you have some things you want me to go over. I finished the list you sent me. Just want my payments. Well, you know the routine, Mr. Higgs. I have to review the list per... Per our mutual friend. I'm fully aware of it. Oh, very good. Let's not waste any more time. Let's start off with the hog. It was requested that you only get the coats, and it was supposed to be killed with a knife. It sounds like it was a little bloody. It was. Can we just move on to the other list? In a hurry, Mr. Higgs? Because you know my procedure. I have another job I need to get to. What do you mean another- You went to Mr. Joseph. You know you're not the only associate I go for work. And you both work for our mutual friend. Mutual friend or not. He should not be trusted. As long as he pays, I do not care. Can we continue? Okay, we shall. Let's start with the stallion. This again. Don't you mean- No, Mr. Higgs. I mean the stallion. I told you this before. Just because it makes no difference to you doesn't mean it doesn't affect me. The less details I know, the better. Whatever helps you sleep at night. As I was saying, the stallion. He's been spotted the past couple of days on the road north of Benedict's Pass with his mares. Been causing trouble for the people in town. It was requested he doesn't make it to town alive. Was he put down today? You know the answer to that. Mr. Higgs, the procedure. Fine. As you mentioned, the stallion was spotted near Benedict's Pass. While his mares took him to town, he didn't make it there alive. And the people were pleased from what I hear. Well done. Next is the fox in Blackwater. He's been stealing a hen from a farmer in the same town. It was extra money if he was captured alive. That was the goal. And were you successful? It didn't go to plan. No, but the deed was done. You get paid regardless. Now, how about the wolf? She's been causing trouble in a small town north from here. Unfortunately, someone got to her before I did. How unfortunate. I hope you handled it well, since you won't get paid. I kept my composure. Just what I like to hear. Finally, the rattlesnake. Our mutual friend requested he be treated as such, although I have no way of knowing. I guess you're gonna have to trust me. Were you able to cut off the head? Well, it is the only way to kill a snake. And the body. There's always some poison lingering, even though the head is gone. Don't worry. The poison's not spreading. Excellent. Here's your money. Thank you. Now, if I may, Mr. Henry, I need to take care of the list for Mr. Joseph. Well, you better hurry. I have a feeling it may rain today. I'm pretty patient when it comes to the hunt. I can wait it out. I'm sure you will. Is this a big list? Just one on the list. A vulture. Oh, sounds delightful. And you sure you don't want to know who- uh, Again, the less I know, the better. It's a shame you don't want to know who it is. I'm not able to separate one from the other. Unlike you, Mr. Higgs. You know, my father once told me this, Mr. Henry. When it comes to hunting, it's all about detachment. Whatever's at the other end of the barrel, you have to detach yourself. Can't put any emotions or feelings to it. After all, they're only animals.